When are you having your fight with Joshua Anthony? Is it Anthony Joshua? Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua. <laughs> Well, hold on, he hasn't, he hasn't confirmed that yet. Oh, you haven't? That's oh, a I big thought... question. You've thrown a bomb in there, Joan. Yeah, Go straight in I like it. it. Joan's okay. not messing Cast, around tonight. <laughs> she to wants to know yeah. when you're fighting Joshua. Well, the answer to the question is, next year the fight has to happen. He's came over his final hurdle last week against Pulev. Yeah. Um, and now we're both free to make this fight, so I'm willing to do the fight. They asked him the question on, uh, after, the, after the fight in an interview, yeah. do you want to fight Tyson Fury? Very plain and simple. And he never answered the question. Well, he kind oh. of turned it to the crowd, didn't he? It was a simple yes or no answer, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, then they said, do you think you're the best everywhere in the world? He went, didn't answer the question. So you ask me, do I want to fight Anthony Joshua? Ask me. Do you want to fight Anthony Joshua? Yes! Yes! yes. 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 We want to be there! It's very simple. Who's the best heavyweight in the world? Me! By a mile! <laughs> There we go, that's how you answer the question. Who will win in a fight between me and Russell Kane? You! Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> but the question I want to ask you, this is... Am I right in thinking this will be the first time if you fight? Because uh, he has three belts at the moment, and you have one. This will be the first time those belts have been unified in one competition. So whoever were to win would be the absolutely undisputed heavyweight champion in all the different categories. categories yeah. yeah. Well, they've actually been unified. He's unified champion now. I was unified champion in 15. Um, so, yeah, it'll be the first time since Lennox Lewis 20 years ago wow. has there been an undisputed heavyweight champion. But this so. is what an amazing achievement that be. And my follow-up question that will be this. If you were to win, right, and you seem confident, and I guess you've got to go in there feeling confident, say you win, and I think the money would be on you, um, would you carry on afterwards? Would there be any point carrying on boxing? Because I know you've been talking about you're coming to the end of your boxing career anyway. Well, the thing is, is I'm a uh, creature of habit. And I've done this ever since I've been in the womb, basically, boxing. Who were you fighting in the womb? <laughs> I was fighting my mother trying to get out, of course. <laughs> Placenta. Ah, boom, boom. Yeah, take that la, 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 la. There, there he is. is. Straight he through came the out yikes. fighting. <laughs> came out fighting. Fists are ready. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'll continue for... Uh, till there's no more challenges. Till there's no more proper challenges to fight. See, when I beat Joshua next year, I'll have defeated the best from the last era and my era. Yeah. So yeah. then there'll always be somebody else to fight. There's always somebody to fight. But I must admit, Joshua, he, he was better in the fight, the last fight, than I thought he'd be. I mean, he threw a lot of good right hooks. He was really getting yeah, some good... Yeah, fair play to him. He was, he was fighting better. I thought better than most people expected to see him fight. Well, you know, he's a great, great uh, fighter. He's an Olympic gold medalist. He's a two-time heavyweight champion, just like me. Yeah. He's, uh, he's won all the belts and, you know, he's a great, great athlete. Well, it's nice that you say that. I know you have respect for him. You clearly have of respect course, for him as, a fighter. as an athlete, as yeah. a fighter. Do you like him? I don't know him personal to say, oh, I like him or dislike him, but from what I've seen of him, he seems a decent guy. But, I mean, of the people you've knocked out over the years, who did you like the most? <laughs> um, <laughs> at that time, I, I didn't like any of them. Of course not. I didn't like any of them, but, you know, people have beaten and stopped them, whatever. I think Derek Chisora is my, uh, my favourite <laughs> yeah. uh, fellow boxer. I yeah. uh, really do get on with Derek. Uh, top guy, top athlete, top fighter. Yeah, yeah. He's been he's, such he's a veteran He's a big character as well, isn't he? He's a large sure. enough character, yeah. How do you calm your brain down when you're going into a fight? Do you just... I see you listen to reggae. That's what originally drew me to you. I thought, lovely. But do you... What's your process? I get nervous before, like, this. I was nervous. You have a wine. Yeah. But, like, actually going in to know that you could potentially be knocked out, have brain, yeah. anything. You know, I, I'm already relaxed. I'm, I'm the most relaxed fighter there is. I'm not nervous or tense before a boxing match. Yeah. I'm not, I don't need to do all this... Um, getting myself psyched up for a fight. I'm, I'm having a joke in the changing room. I'm laughing and joking. It's all fun and games to me because I know I've done all the hard work for the last three months okay. in training camp and there's nothing more I could physically or mentally do. i prepared and done everything correct. So now it's my time to shine, put on a show for the people who are watching and have fun. 